Hi world, this is Chatty Dad Juan coming at ya. What I want to talk about right now is something that I've been seeing more and more of. Um, Homeland Security, DHS, has been overreaching their limits big time. I mean, they are, they already have a massive, massive force. And they're building onto it with the uh, Federal Protective Services, the FPS. Now, these guys, they're calling for um, these Federal uh, Protective Security offices, Officers everywhere, every state. Look at there, they're spending $30 million on all these guys. And I mean, we've already got, you know, all of these police, um, security agencies, all this stuff. And they're adding more and more and more all the time they have added these guys I mean huge amount of growth for their structure of I can't call it anything else than militarization of the homeland because they have absolutely gone out of control here. But they are asking for these in every state. And um, what I want to show you is what these guys do. They protect all the federal buildings. They are the security for federal um, employees. They provide security for the senators, you know, congressmen federal land, government land, and it's one of the police forces of the Federation, the corporate federation known as the United States. But they do this through DHS. They have federal protective service in Russia. Same kind of deal. Except in Russia. This is the Federal Protective Services of the United States. It says there's only uh, 900 law enforcement officers, but that's bullcrap. There are way more than this. Way more than this. They have 9,000 federally owned and leased buildings, courthouses, properties, and other federal assets, and the personnel associated with those assets. These guys are the cops for the cops the protectors of the protectors, so to speak. So, Department of Homeland Security, they're just building their, they're just building their little force here. I mean, they are absolutely overreaching in their power. Um, 
primary services, conducting, conducting facility security assessment, des designing countermeasures for tenant agencies, maintaining uniformed law enforcement presence, maintaining armed contract security guards, performing background suitability checks for contract employees, monitoring security alarms via centralized communication centers, additional protective services, conducting criminal investigations, sharing intelligence among local, state, and federal, Protecting special events, working with FEMA to respond to natural disasters, offer special operations including canine explosive detection, training federal tenants in crime prevention, and occupant emergency planning. So these guys are like you know, the extending arm of law enforcement. And uh, like I say, they are adding them everywhere they already have. These guys can cross borders. They can do anything. They have ultimate power. And uh, it's just more and more we're seeing of the police state what they're doing to buoy up the corporation because they're definitely strengthening up every aspect of the corporation and of the United States for some reason I don't know why they need all these uh, you'd think with all this added law enforcement that there wouldn't be a crime committed anywhere. But uh, that's not the case. We're spending millions of dollars for extra security and we already have enough. I mean, enough is enough. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is ridiculous. This is unnecessary. This is just power to them. More and more and more. So, um, I thought that I would bring this to you. It's important to know that, uh, you know, don't be surprised if one day you get pulled over and and uh, searched by one of these guys. I think they stay mainly in the cities. I mean, they don't patrol the interstates and highways and stuff like that that I know of yet. But uh, they could be called upon any moment to help and provide backup for any law enforcement agency. I mean that's that's basically one way that they do it. They but they've got to build up a big enough force to come and disarm everybody. And uh they're doing it. There's a lot of these guys. Just like there's a lot of everything else. But like I say DHS they're overstepping their bounds here as far as I'm concerned. This is unnecessary. This is waste of funds. We have too much law enforcement as it is. We don't need all this extra. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, share this information with others. This is getting way out of control. It's already been out of control. This is just I'm just showing you more and more what they're doing. 
and they're doing this in all states and you know all federal federally owned property are going to be policed by these guys and the cops and whoever else so uh they're they're monsters they're huge anyway this is chatty dad one god bless good luck to us all never give up your guns it's, Keep them rights that we have. It's the only thing that keeps them, keeps us from totally being run over and taken over by our own powers and by foreign powers as well. This is Chatty Dad Warren. Over and out.